to download 7zip.org go to 7-zip.org and basis your windows configuration whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit choose the appropriate link to download the software since i already have it on my system so i am not doing the whole process of downloading and installation again so once your download and installation is complete go to start menu all programs and you will find 7zip there you need to open the 7zip file manager just in case if you are unable to find it easily you can alternatively find it by typing 7 space zip in the search box and you will find the file manager there once the file manager opens choose the folder or the file that you want to zip I have got a file on my desktop let's say the file name is this video how to use google forms press this button add and this is the add to archive dialog box in add to archive dialog box you can do various settings archive it will show you the path for saving the archive file archive format 7z is a new archive format it provides high compression ratio has a strong AES-256 encryption and supports files that are huge in size compression level you can choose different compression level store files will be copied to archive without compression then fastest then you can choose fast normal normal is compression with balance settings maximum can give a high compression ratio with normal level but it can be slower and may require more memory ultra can give you a high compression ratio than maximum level but it can be slower and may require more memory compression method you can choose various compression methods here lzma2 it's an improved version of lzma and lzma provides high compression ratio and does very fast decompression ppmd it is very fast and effective for compressing plain text files it is ideal for large collection of word documents you should use ppmd when you have a large body of text this could include html or other formatting but plain text should dominate it can improve ratios by around 30% on some data sets. BZIP2 It provides high speed and is mostly used for good compression ratio for normal text files. Dictionary size You can choose various dictionary sizes for compression method. It depends on the compressibility of your data. Generally 32 MB is more than enough. But if you are compressing numerous multiple files then a much higher number can be used. For example, if you have a 30 MB file going in, then 32 MB dictionary usage should be good enough. Larger dictionaries make the whole process slower but results in smaller file. Dictionary size has impact on speed and your computer system. For speed, bigger the dictionary size, longer it will take for your PC to compress the files and on your computer system. It's very important to take consideration on which PC you are compressing files and on which system you will decompress the same because bigger the dictionary size more ram is required to complete compression and decompression otherwise your pc will almost hang out and require a reboot let's not talk about word size it is really dependent on files you are trying to compress higher the value the better compression you are generally going to get keep in mind that word size might almost have no effect on the size of compressed files However, it may affect the speed of compression. Next is solid blocks. With this option, you can enable solid compression, which can improve compression when storing multiple similar files. The best practice is usually selecting the size of block. For example, if you are trying to compress 5 files and each file is 512 MB, you might select a block size of 512 MB. Usually compressing to a solid archive, improves the compression ratio you can use this option only for 7z archives number of cpu threads it specifies the number of threads for compressing higher the number of thread faster will be the compression a big number of threads can sometimes increase speed even on a single core cpu it is selected by default so i will not suggest you to make any change split to volumes this will just split the archive at special size you specified. For example, 
If you are trying to burn a 2 GB of a file on a CD, you can tell 7Z to split the archive every 650 MB. What it will do is create couple of parts. Single part will not be more than what you specified. However, uncompressing the files will require all the parts. Parameter It allows you to specify parameters for compression. Parameter fields are just similar to command line. To specify any option you need that is not available via dedicated dialog control that you see. Update mode. You can see four options there. Add and replace files. It is used to add all specified files to the archive. Update and add files. It updates older files in the archive and add files that are new to the archive. Freshen existing files. It updates specified files in the archive that are older than the specified disk. Synchronize files. It replaces specified files only if added files are newer. You can choose compression options here. Create SFX archive. It is used to create self-extracting archive. For example, you might download a file from internet that has a 7Z log. And when you double click on it, a window appears and asks you where to extract this file. If you check SFX, you are going to create a file that will just do that self-extracting archive. You can use this option only for 7Z archives. Compress shared files. It is used to compress files open for writing by another application. In other words, this option is used to compress a file when it is open in another application. Delete files after compression. This option automatically deletes the current file after it is compressed. Encryption. By using this option, the archive you are going to create will be password protected. After all this, simply press OK and your zip will be created. Let's learn about other archive formats. BZIP2. It provides high speed and is mostly used for good compression ratio for normal text files. You can use other filter basis your requirement and then click on OK. File format gzip. It's a file format and a software application used for file compression and decompression. It's mostly used to compress your web pages and style sheets before sending them over to the browser. This drastically reduces transfer time since the files are much smaller. It will only provide deflate compression method. It will only support 32 KB dictionary size. But you can choose word size and give length to the words which will be used to find identical sequences of bytes for compression. You can choose other filters basis your requirement. Archive format tar. As the name is derived from tape archive. It is a computer software utility for collecting many files into one archive file for distribution or backup purpose. It is mostly used by Linux or Unix users. It will allow you to split volumes and also put parameters if needed. It will also allow you to choose NTFS, store symbolic links. It is a file system object that points to another file system object. This object being pointed to is called the target. Store hard links. It is a directory entry that associates a name with a file on a file system. The term is used in the file system which allows multiple hard links to be created for the same file. Archive format WIM. It stands for Windows Imaging Format. WIM files are compressed packages that contains a number of related files. For example, in big organizations, backup of hard disks are made using image X. This results in WIM file which is stored on the network and to restore files from the WIM file, organizations use 7-zip. As 7-zip is fast in opening WIM files, it only provides store compression level. It will allow you to split volumes and parameters. It also allows you to choose NTFS. We spoke about store symbolic links, store hard links, store alternate data streams. It is a feature of Windows NTFS that contains metadata for locating a specific file by the author or title. ADS is supported by all versions of Windows beginning with Microsoft NT through the current versions. Store file security. It's a Windows built-in feature to access information and check user privileges to decide who can and who cannot access a document or a folder. Let me now talk about other archive formats. There are two left, exit and zip. Exit. 
it is a open source data compression method that makes use of LZMA2 algorithm to produce higher compression ratio. It does not bundle multiple files into single archive. It is therefore common to compress a file that is itself an archive such as those created by TAR or UNIX programs. One can say that EXIT is just like a stripped down version of 7-zip program. Let me now talk about the last archive format that is ZIP. ZIP files are single files sometimes called as archives that contain one or more compressed files. ZIP files make it easy to keep related files together and make transporting, emailing, downloading and storing data and softwares faster and more efficient. You can choose different compression levels. Similarly, you can decide on various filters that we did earlier and press OK to start making a zip. Now that we are done with understanding what do all these filter options mean, let's now move to the menu. In the same manner, you can extract the zip or 7z etc type of files by simply clicking on the extract from the menu and if you want to test the compressed file for errors then you can click on the test button below the menu bar on the other hand you can choose copy move delete info basis your requirement please note 7zip supports a number of other compression and non-compression archive formats including 7z zip gzip bzip2 xz tar and vim this utility also supports office open xml rar etc but it only allows the password protection option on a file or a folder when it is archived in 7z. 7zip works in Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista, XP, 2013, 2008, 2003, 2000 and NT. That is all from my side on 7zip. I would like to hear from you about 7zip through a comment below. And if you found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.